Right, I have a regulator right in here. I modified it. That has a two output that I can run two generators at the same time. Each one has its own valve that we can turn them off or turn them on. I'm going to put them in off position. Connect them up. For the better support, I can use one of these tension pulley right in here and connect them to this to hold that in the side. It's going to give a better. The gas is already open. One of this generator we already we talked about it modified last week. This one is modified this week, but I did not finish with it. I did not put the quick connect yet, so I have to open them up and use the holes that is in there. Remember that. Before you do any modification, run your generator with the gasoline, make sure it run correctly. And then when you did a modification, before you run them with a propane gas, run them again with a gasoline, make sure it's running okay, is nothing wrong with it, it neither one of the hoses is not disconnected or so, then start, uh, then start running them with a propane. So this is the hose that is coming out of the carburetor. For the gasoline the, with the jet i'm going to explain all of this in the next video that is going to be in the end of the same video how you can install you know this is the connector and yeah i do have two holes right in here one is going to be 25 foot one is going to be 15 foot i'm using them for the rv that's the reason that they are too long i'm going to connect 25 foot to this one and the other end should go to here Quick connect and the other hose is 15 foot. I'm just gonna connect them right in here. And the other end goes right in here. Of course, if you don't use the quick connect and long hose, your cost is gonna be lower. Each one of these hose with this quick connect is probably gonna cost you something about, I say about $21, $22, because the hose by itself is about, <coughs> uh, the 25 foot is about $10 and uh, 15 foot is about six dollars. I got them from the Harbor Freight. Then each one of those end connectors it costs you about four dollars. Okay, now we want to turn on the unit. We have to make sure they are in a off position. Open the gas one at a time. This one is going to be this. We open in the gas. We prime in it. The longer the hose, the longer prime that you should have. If you do have a one foot hose, you don't need to prime in that that long. Okay. Now, let's just turn them on, see if it's coming down. Alright, the third generator is on. I do have a 1500 watt heat gun right in here. I'm gonna put them in there as a load and see how it does, how it performs. generator is running, I'm going to turn on the other generator. To do it so, I'm just opening the gas. Oh, sorry. I'm opening the gas. And now, I'm going to pull. This one has a longer hose. Let's see how many times we have to pull before it comes out. Five, six times. Now this generator is on too. If you want to adjust the tune the generator, you can use this gas valve right in here. It allows less or more gas to it. Do not mess with the air jet right in here. Any changes that you make a carburetor is causing that when you're running with the gasoline, it's going to be out of the tune. If you want to tune up for the gas, all the time use this two valve right in here. As you see, both generator is running right now. The same regulator. I'm gonna put a load on the second generator right now. See, it's running a better rough, so I'm gonna give them a little more gas. And now it's running smooth. Both is running pretty good. Currently, I don't have a big load to put in them in a boat. You have to couple them 
then you can put a big load on them and it will work without any problem. I don't see any problem. But you eat, eat with the same regulator, my guess is based on the spec that I read on this zero governor regulator, you should be able to run at minimum four of this generator with this size because they said this regulator can handle till about 40 horsepower. Each one of this generator has about three or three and a half a horsepower uh, motor on it. So it shouldn't be any problem to run it on. With a more than one generator, one regulator, it's gonna bring your cost down. Okay, it's done. Let me, second, I'm gonna shut them off one at a time. I can shut the gas valve right in here. Generator goes off, and now the second one. Now we're gonna turn them on again to see how this thing does work. Again, first generator, gas open. On. Second generator, gas open. On. The reason that this thing is gonna take a longer time to come on because it has a 25 foot hose. That one has a 15 foot hose. But they both run it perfectly. All right, we're done.